So question about reflux and its tie-in with sleep, which again, um, fortuitously I've covered, but I, I, I want to go into that more detail given that it's been asked specifically. So reflux is where um, stomach acid contents come up uh, into the esophagus, the food pipe, but then can come up into the throat. Uh, it can actually get into the lower part of the throat in and around the voice box. Dentists will see it getting into the mouth because they'll see the problems with the teeth. Um, we'll get the nasal congestion uh, type symptoms because it can affect the nose. And in kids, uh, going back to that grommet story in fluid, um, is that we can actually, when we take the fluid out, if we scientifically um, research these things, we can actually find stomach acid uh, and enzymes in the fluid within the ear. So that, that reflux can actually go a hell of a long way with regards to um, its effect. And uh, from that uh, point of view, uh, the, um, uh, you know, thing about reflux is it'd be pretty significant. And from an uh, adult point of view, the other things that can tie into this is that, uh, for example, the adenoids, adenoids at the back of the nose, they usually naturally disappear. But um, that can be one of the reasons that the adenoids will hang around um, is, is because the acids coming up, uh, getting into the back of the nose um, and, and causing the adenoids to be irritated and they hang around which can lead to breathing problems. Uh, it can cause the tonsils at the back of the throat to swell up, lead to breathing problems. It can cause swelling on the back of the tongue. So on the back of our tongue, there's another set of what we call tonsils. And it gets a bit confusing. We say, oh, I've had my tonsils out, but what do you mean there's, I've got more tonsils? Well, yeah, you've got tonsils on the back of your tongue. Um, they can swell up with reflux too. So those things can cause breathing problems and hence snoring. Uh, but the other thing that reflux can do is it comes up and irritates the throat. It can cause an irritated throat. You get a lot of phlegm and mucus and, and stuff starts to build up. So you, know, you can start to cough and it can interfere with your sleep from that point of view. Uh, and for some people, occasionally what happens is that when it comes up into the voice box level, it hits the voice box itself. And there's what's called the drowning reflex. And the drowning reflex is basically a protective mechanism where if you get any water onto the voice box, the voice box will shut tight to try and stop water going into the lungs. Now, it won't hold for very long, um, but you know it's sort of a protective thing to try and save you from getting water into your lungs. When you get reflux and it comes up and it hits the voice box, um, it triggers that drowning reflex. So when that happens, um, people can sometimes wake up gasping for breath uh, and struggling um, in terms of uh, you know, nighttime sleep. So, and these people can end up in an ambulance, and I've seen people end up in, you know, intensive care wards, 